Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the 2003 version of The Twilight Zone. And this week we are watching Memphis. And Memphis starts off with just a line, there's no face, and I immediately knew that this was Don S. Davis. Now, he has the best voice, and he is great, even though his part is really, really tiny. Of course, he was the uh, general on SG-1, and he did. He had a long career. He did great, and he he's great in this, too. Then we have uh, Eric LaSalle, who also directed the episode, um, playing Ray, and he was one of the regulars on ER, so he's been on TV a lot. Also a long career. And he gets told that the cancer treatment that can actually help him would run to $200,000. Now, today, an experimental treatment will run you in excess of a million dollars. Um, but that is also the U.S. where you have no health insurance to speak of. And it's it's just bonkers. Um, a friend of mine went through cancer treatment and paid 30 bucks for it. Pretty much. Which is a bit better, because, you know, then you're not also bankrupt uh, while you're suffering from cancer. So, good for them. Uh, Vivica A. Fox is in this, uh, of course, uh, as Adeline, and she is in Kill Bill, although slightly more violent than in this one. Now, uh, I'm going to unfortunately butcher this name, but uh, Dr. King, who is here, who gets shot off camera... Uh, which makes sense, you know, that's not something you would want to show on TV. But uh, you have this lovely crosshair thing going on, which is very scary. Uh, played by a Fusu uh, Utomaji, I think. And he is he is primarily a stunt double, a stunt person. And he does done a lot of stunts, like a lot of stunts. And uh, his, his stunt list is huge, and then actors like six credits. So, he's a very prolific stuntman. And now he gets to play Dr. King, which is great. Um, I love seeing that. He doesn't get to save Dr. King, but he does get to save himself. Which reminds me a bit about the 100 feet, 300 feet? 100 feet over the rim. I remember in the 60s, uh, wandering back into the past to to save, to work out the cure for disease. It's, it's the whole thing of, of you causing the shift that you need to. But in this episode, the shift has already happened. The, the past is already set because this neurologist is the already exists. Lucas is already Dr. Lucas, essentially. And so he, he, he's already set on this path. He cannot avoid it, I would guess. Now, next week, we're going to take a pill. It's going to do nothing, and I look forward to seeing you then. Take care now. Bye.